It's not out, people. How are you? Charles here. I hope you're all alive. I hope you're well. I hope you don't have the corona, uh, coronavirus. Today is March 16th. I'm here in my office temporarily because I had some things to do. Uh, and <laughs> just wanted to update you on the corona situation here in Serbia and what's going on with me. Uh, the corona here in Serbia, the, the president of Serbia came on television last night discussing the efforts Serbian government uh, are, are trying to uh, impose to keep the spread of this terrible virus. Um, they're gonna be stopping restaurants, cafes, gyms, schools, uh, festivals, music, th concerts, sporting events, everything. Serbia is following suit with the rest, the vast majority of the rest of Europe uh, I saw the Netherlands have closed cafes and coffee shops and things like that. I mean, that just really disrupts the way Europe operates because that's Europe, you know. So that's going to be happening. They're pushing social distancing, of course, self-quarantining. I'm somewhat self-quarantining myself, um, you know, so that's what's happening here. And here in Serbia, I'll show you in a minute, like outside here in Novi Sad, uh, Vucic actually said last night he would like the old people to stay home for fear of this, and they're not really... Uh, following suit, so they might impose some different restrictions here soon. You just never know. This is a, something that changes by the day, by the hour, you know, what's, what's going to be happening. And you know, for me, as a foreigner here, as an American here uh, in Serbia, I remember when this first came about, when I was watching this in China, uh, starting in Wuhan province and when everybody was talking about it, I just thought, ah, it's media blow up, just crap, you know, it's just going to fade out, just like Ebola and SARS and all that. Nobody's going to even, I'm not going to be affected by it. So then I saw it kind of spreading here and here and I thought, you know, I'm a guy who loves like horror and sci-fi movies and you see all those about the pandemics and uh, all these afflictions that, you know, in society in, in the into the world uh, crap, you know? And I thought, man, what if that really happened? You know, shit, and it's starting to look that way. It's upending everything. I never dreamed they would shut down sporting events like that uh, in cafes and stuff like that, but that's happening now. And when that first started spreading around Europe and I thought, man, maybe I should go home. Maybe I should go back to the United States. I don't wanna be a foreigner stuck in a foreign land when all this happens. They have restrictions, flights, cancellations, uh, quarantining, and I'm stuck in a foreign country. But then I really thought, I thought, you know what? Maybe it's smarter to be stuck here in Serbia, to be stuck in the USA during a calamity. American people don't really know about those calamities. I mean, the, the people who are alive to, uh, in this day and age, you know, but any sort of little media flare, I'm, by no means am I saying this, this is something the media is blowing out of proportion. I don't know, uh, but everything's contradicting each other. Some days you watch one news source and they say, oh, everybody's overblowing the situation. You watch another and they say, man, they're not taking it serious enough. So nobody knows. But I thought in the USA, any little scare, people are going to the stores, they're lining up, they're buying everything, they're cleaning out the toilet paper, the, the hand sanitizers are being sold out, food, everything. And I thought, that's what's happening in America. Why not be here in Serbia? These people know how to survive these calamities. My God, for years, year after year after year, the Serbians have struggled through war after war after war. The Balkan Wars, you had World War I where it wiped out almost all the male population. You had these big, um, uh, what was the, um, those afflictions that were going around in that time that wiped out many, many tuberculosis or whatever uh, the, from the Serbs who were fighting their way back from Corfu through Albania back into Serbia. Lots of these diseases wiped out lots of people. Then you had the 90s, of course. You had hyperinflation. You had sanctions placed on the Serbian people and they survived. You know, year... If there was ever a calamity that ended human race as we know it, uh, all life on Earth, they say if, if anything like that ever happened, the cockroach would survive a nuclear holocaust. But the Serbians probably would survive along with the roaches uh, because they've been able to get through lots and lots of hardships. You know, they said during the 90s, let me just read this so I don't misquote it. You know, the Serbian, this was during Yugoslavia, actually, 1992, but they had the uh, Dinar, 
and the inflation rate, massive hyper, between 1992 and 1994, Yugoslavia experienced the third longest period of hyperinflation in world economic history, 22 months, from March 1992 to January of 1994. It said at its height, inflation reached a peak monthly rate of 313 million percent. Uh, January inflation in 1994 converted to an annual levels reached of 116 billion percent, my friends. Many of these stores, the Serbians, uh, many of the, the families that, that uh, my friends' parents and grandparents have told me stories about how they would get their monthly check, and a lot of it was in the German mark. They would instantly get their monthly salary. They would run to the grocery store. What they had in a monthly salary wouldn't even buy a loaf of bread sometimes. Just every day, the prices just constant change, but they survived. They shared food, uh, and they just were able to do it. A resilient fucking people you have here in this land. So where better to be here than stuck on the little island of Nantucket, Massachusetts, on a little island with relying on boats to bring our food. I thought, where better to be than right here in Serbia? <laughs> so hopefully we'll get through this horrible, horrible times. All of you continue to self-quarantine, stay away from big groups, uh, and let's end this, man. Let's get back to normal. I need my baseball, uh, but I also don't, I, mean, I don't want to make jest of this situation. I want everybody to survive, especially the old folks. I don't want to um, accidentally, I, I'm confident in my health here uh, to uh, survive it, but a lot of young, older folks will not, and I do not want to um, infect someone because that would be horrible uh, to have that on your hands, you know, that you've infected some old folks. Uh, anyway, my friends, wish you all the best. Thing that scares me the most here, I never buy food in advance. And in my house, I, I buy it by the day. Restaurants, uh, I eat out a lot, and then I buy very little. So I thought, man, everybody's taking the food. What, what am I going to do? I'm going to be stuck in the house. As I said in my video I made last night, I said, all I have in my house was fucking kupus and fucking pasul, man, you know? So I got to go to the store today. Uh, anyway, that's an update here on Corona. There's still people out and about. They're wandering around. They're in coffee shops here in Serbia. So you never know. Maybe there's going to be some more quarantining uh, being placed on all the folks here. Uh, it even said something else I wanted to mention. They said last night that if somebody is flies into this country and they're told to quarantine and then they're caught not in quarantine, you can get three years in jail for this. I mean, so it's serious stuff, my friends. Take it seriously. Anyway, hopefully I'll survive here in Serbia and the rest of the world. Ciao, ciao. Oh, let me show you outside to see how the Serbians are taking this threat seriously. Check guy. Okay, are they taking this seriously? Ah, look at that. There's very few people out in the center. But downstairs, let me show you better. I'll open the door. Or open the window, my apologies. Coffee shops. sitting by each other. Now that's going to be the hardest part for Serbians because Serbians are very social folks. I mean, same in France. They did the same thing in France and Italy and all these folks are just used to this style of life, you know? So anyway, we'll see how it, ha how it goes, folks. Wish you all the best. Ciao, ciao.